cut the canvas. Okay, this is the canvas roll. I like to buy oh, a roll of, uh, of six yards, usually, uh, uh, because I use a lot of canvas and it's cheaper that way. Now I lay out the canvas. Well, you need a good surface to work on, too. Uh, you can do it on the floor, but it's sure nice to have something waist high. So then we take the stretcher strips and we can lay it there. And I like to leave about, let's see how much that is. That's, I say four inches, but it's not. That's more like three inches, huh? Let's say three inches on each side. And it's not that critical. It, well, you, hey, unless you cut it too short. Let's see, I'm going to lose a little bit here. Does that matter? Probably not. Not particularly straight. If you're a more anal retentive than I am, you can draw it off and make straight lines and cut it straight. Use a knife. Doesn't have to be scissors. So then I take the canvas and I turn it with the the gesso down. And then I take the stretcher strips and the bevel side I turn down also and fit it there. And I want to make sure that it's centered in the middle of the canvas. You can check this this way and this way. Make sure you have about the same amount of overlap. Okay. You'd be surprised how many people <laughs> stretch this backwards with the flat on the front. But you don't want to do that, it'll, it'll, because eventually it's going to leave a line on your painting. But it's another story. All right, now I don't use, I don't use stretcher pliers. I think stretcher pliers tend to, uh, they're rough on the canvas, and, and you tend to have uneven torque. When you, when you push them down, you'll be torqued more in one area than another, and it's going... And, and then you might wind up with a, a twist in your, in your uh, a finished product. I just like to use my hands to judge the, uh, okay, now, the, uh, here's where we use the, the I use a staple gun. Yeah, there's people that would use, that just use tacks, uh, but, uh, this is fine with me. I see nothing wrong with staples. And I don't use particularly long staples. I use quarter inch or five sixteenths because often I take them out and, and uh, after I paint the painting. Because here, look here, I, I store paintings flat. So after, see, after I've, you see the marks of the staples, but I take my paintings off and store them flat. If I didn't, then I need a, a warehouse to store all these uh, stretcher strips. Okay. Now the next thing you do is you want to make sure that it's still square because I've moved it. And it, it seems to be. I'm sure it is, but it's always good to double check. Make sure everything's all still square. Okay, good to go. So then we put a staple in on one side in the center. And we turn the turn it around. Move out the canvas directly across from the staple. We pull it. You see you get a little wrinkle in there, but you want to be right across with another staple in. And we do the same side, 
Same thing on the short side. Now, if you look at the way I'm holding the canvas, I just take it here, and I'm using my thumbs, and then I'm just uh, I'm rolling it around the stretcher strips, using them for leverage, see? And it gets pretty tight there. So now it's a diamond shape, or, or an X, or a plus sign. There we go. Then we come in about two and a half, three inches, I don't know, on either side. And when you pull it, we pull the canvas, we don't pull it straight, but a little bit to the sides, to the corner, the opposite corner, like this. And, and make sure there's no wrinkles in here. You pull it to tighten it and put in another one. And we always go to, to the opposite side. Here, I'm going to straight flatten it out. There we go. And we go to this side. Same thing. If I'm pulling it that way. Here. Pulling it that way. You'd be surprised how fast I could do this. I'm going to speed it up here and knock this out real quick. Now try not to uh, staple across the uh, uh, where these two uh, stretcher strips meet. You don't want to staple across that. You want that to be free of staples to make your corners, and and you'll see why. Okay. Now this part it's really easy, but people have a little trouble till they practice it. I'm going to take each corner and I'm going to pull it out. Along the same line as where the 45 degree angle of the stretcher strips. Just pull it out like that. This is the easiest way to show it that I can think of. Alright. Now, you have to pick one side to go to and you need to be consistent. So I'm going to go to the long side. And what that means, I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it over towards the long side at a 45 degree angle. Can you see that there? The 45 degree angle. And then I just flatten it out and, and lay it down. Here, I'm going to tuck that in a little bit better. There we go. And then lay it down there like that. And I'm going to put a staple here. Oh, I've run out of staples. This is how you load the staples on most of these. Uh, now of course, there are different kinds of staple guns, but that's how this one works. Okay. There we go. I'm staple it. Staple it. Now, I might point out that if you measure stretcher strips, a 24 inch stretcher strip is not actually 24 inches, it's like 23 and three quarters or or seven eighths. That's to where when you frame it into a 24 by 18 frame, it takes a, a, into account the thickness of the of the canvas. So if you're cutting your own 
stretcher strips, which there's no point in doing them because they're a lot they're more expensive to make than to buy. But if you want to cut your own, you need to make a 24 inch, like make it a quarter inch or so shorter than, than whatever your your uh, your size is. So here uh, I do again. I'm going to take this, fold it up. They're at a 45 degree angle there. Took, then I'm going to take it and lay it over like that. Again, I'm going to do that, lay it over the 45 angle like that, and then just fold it down. Last one. There we go, like that. And then you just fold it down. I'm tucking these pieces in to make it a little neater. All right, now that's basically it. Okay, now here's where, so here's what we have, and it's fairly tight. It doesn't ring yet, it's not tight as I like it. So here's what I do. Oh, just a second, I'm going to grab another bag of keys. Okay, we're getting ready to use these keys, and you'll see what they're for. Now, first I like to, some people don't want to do this, there's sizing in here, it's like starch. And, uh, and I'll take this and I'm going to spray, lightly spray, right into the corner and all the way across. And I'm here, I'm going to spread that out even, make sure the water's down in the corner. Some people don't like to put any water on their canvas. You don't need to. But I, I, to me, it's the easiest way to tighten that up. Really, like a drum. Now, you don't saturate it. Just eat a little even, evenly sprayed water. Now then, well, I'll just take it now. Spray it back here. A little water. I sometimes like to use a brush. Sometimes I just use my hands. I can feel if there's any dry areas. Actually, there's a dry area right there. Both legs. Okay. Now that's when these come in. Now, the quality control is not really great on these keys. Sometimes they, they're nice and thin, and then sometimes they make them pretty thick. And if they're too thick, they'll crack your stretcher strip. Let me see if I can find a good example here. You know, these are not terrible. But as soon as you start doing this, you'll see what I mean. Like here, here's one that's... See the difference? And the thickness. This one's thick, it'd probably crack the, the stretcher strip. It'll still work, but if it's cracked a little bit, but I just don't like to crack. So here, now, this part, maybe you can see here where I'm going to slip this. Down here, there's a little notch. And the, there's two notches, one on the side and one on the bottom. So the, and one's on the inside, so I'm going to put this little thing right there on the inside. I'm going to give it a couple of taps. Gently, not whack the hell out of it. Okay, then you have to turn it each time to get to the next notch. And then I take that there. And what this is doing is just fairly slightly stretching these corners apart. That's why I didn't want you to put a staple across them. But uh, it spreads them apart just a little bit and it tightens the whole canvas at the same time that it's shrinking as the water dries. So it's going to be a good tight canvas. Okay, so I'm doing the inside row of these keys. It's a little heavy there. That's a thick one. Thick. That's a good one. 
a thin one. So, there. Now I'm going to do the outside keys. That's right there on the outside of the other one right here. There, so that they're right angles to each other. I'm going to give it a couple of little whacks. Not hard. It doesn't take a lot. Put one in here. Put the canvas out for There's a thin one. Okay, put that. Put it there. And one more. Just one more, and then we're done with it. Well, these are all pretty fat. Let me see where I... Yeah, that one's not too bad. There's the last one. I'll put it in here. And that's it. There's our canvas. It's still getting tighter as the water dries. And you can give it a thump. It's like a drum. You can hear it tightness on it. Now I'd like to I like to lay them down flat like that till they dry. And if uh, if it's a bigger canvas and it's tending to warp it one side, put something heavy on top of the corners. And uh, and uh, there, there you go. And that'll keep it flat. And that's it, man. You're ready to roll. Thank you for watching this of my first videos. <laughs> Later on.